What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. Quick video update on the helmet video that I posted around tutorial on printing helmets upside down versus printing them right side up. I just wanted to share a quick update on a different method for printing helmets that Nico Industries posted all about, which is just posting perimeter supports. So manually inputting those supports all around the perimeter of a helmet or mask that you're working on with no or little to no center supports. So I ran a quick test using the same file, the same, pretty much the same settings, but the only difference being one had the center support structure that I had talked about in my previous video, and the other had no center support structure. So here's the helmet file. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this, but I'm a huge fan and have been for a very long time since I was a teenager of Shadowhawk. This is a file created by The Broken Nerd. If you're interested in downloading it for yourself, head on over to his Patreon page. He'll be sharing that there shortly. Um, but yeah, this file printed really dang nice. This one was printed on the FormBot Raptor. Uh, this was the file that I ended up using the supports around the perimeter as well as the center support structure. As anticipated, this printed really nice. It took a little bit longer to print uh, just because it was the actual center support structure, but it ended up not using a ton of supports, thankfully, because it is absolutely hollow, this support structure here. And actually, I haven't removed any of these supports on this just yet. So one issue that I did have with the print was the nose piece area. I did end up using a smaller cylinder shaped hollow support structure and then used the supports to brace for the nose. Unfortunately, that was just not large enough. I should have placed down more supports in a larger support structure. I didn't catch it in time and it ended up knocking over and I have this big mess of a nose here. Other than that, it looks really clean. So here's the exact same file but printed on the CRX. There was no center support structure on this. So no you know, hollow structure that I had previously, no supports. It was completely hollow on the inside. And other than a little bit of stringing on the center there, it man, this thing printed great with no supports on the inside. I'm honestly shocked that it worked so well. So here I've already removed the support so I could put this on. I couldn't wait for you guys here. Uh, but yeah, the supports were just around the perimeter. I were manually removed all of the supports in the center and Simplify 3D. Uh, and another little fun bit that occurred when printing this is that I caught that the nose piece for this print started to break as well um, for that support structure. There was no uh, structure like that I've set up previously. This was just solid supports that were printing here. And I ended up using a hot glue gun to try and re-secure that. I caught it just as it was breaking. Uh, so I used a hot glue gun to re-secure it and it still ended up failing in the long run at the nose. Again, I don't think I put down enough supports around the nose for it to actually support this. So here you see this nose piece is also screwed up a good bit. To correct the nose issue on both of these helmets, I'm not gonna reprint all of these since they took quite a bit of time. By the way, this one that had no support center structure obviously printed a good bit faster than the other because there was less material to print. I did end up going off and slicing off some nose pieces and printing those. So I'm gonna end up removing the areas here that have broken off. I keep dropping all the parts. And then I'll end up gluing this on, filling it and sanding it to get the nose piece in place. And here's a quick look at the file with all the supports removed. I have not done any sanding or anything like that on this just yet. Hair is absolutely crazy today. So if you're interested in more info on the support structure method of no center supports whatsoever and just around the perimeter, I'll have a link to Nico's video down below. I'll also link to it at the end of the video here. Make sure to check out his channel if you're interested in picking up one of these files. Uh, this is again from The Broken Nerd. I'll have a link to his Patreon page where you can go and check out uh, and become a patron of his and hopefully get access to this file as well as a bunch of other stuff that he has on his page. Just wanna say thanks again for watching, guys. This was just just a very quick update to give you guys a status on uh, that since I had a few people asking specifically around this method versus the method that I did a video on previously. Hey, thanks again for watching you guys. Bye.